Model and actress Lily Rose Depp, who of course is the daughter of Johnny Depp, just ignited an internet firestorm after she responded to accusations that she was well, one of many people in this country that gets the privilege of nepotism since she's connected to a famous actor that helps her to catapult her career. But she didn't like that, so she responded to it in a fascinating way, okay? So what did she say? She claims it's sexist to claim that this is nepotism. People are going to have preconceived ideas about how or uh about you or how you got there. And I can definitely say that nothing is going to get you the part except for being right for the part. The internet cares a lot more about who your family is than the people who are casting you in things. And then in regard to her accusations of sexism tied to nepotism, she says, maybe you get your foot in the door, but you still just have your foot in the door. There's a lot of work that comes after that. It's weird to me to reduce somebody to the idea that they're only there because it's a generational thing. It just doesn't make any sense. And then she says, um, I just hear it a lot more about women and I don't think that, that it's a coincidence. Okay, um, so- yeah, I think she made that part up. Yeah, I, I see, look, there's nepotism all over the place. I've seen men accused of nepotism, women accused of nepotism. I also know that a lot of people love to weaponize identity <laughs> to get a leg up in arguments. And I think that's what's happening here to keep it real. Um, but I just want to go back to her quote about how, you know, having those connections like a famous actor as a father gets your foot in the door, right? But that's all it does, it just gets your foot in the door. Except getting your foot in the door is the whole game. Like that's the most important part of the game. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yep. So look guys, it's, it, it's not the whole game. She's right about that for sure. There are a lot of, uh, Actors, kids, celebrities, kids uh, that don't make it at all. They try to make it, then they don't make it, right? And so it's not a guaranteed ticket. But at the same time, is it important to get an opportunity? Are you kidding me? Of course, it's like the it, of, it's not a hundred percent of the equation, but it is a majority of the equation. So, and by the way, that doesn't mean that it's like, oh, you should never do it. Okay, someone with uh, if the famous uh, parents should be afforded no opportunities in life, okay? No, that's absurd. In fact, there's a case of you know, one of our own, right? So Ben Mankiewicz's grandfather was Herman Mankiewicz and he wrote Citizen Kane. Oh, I thought you were gonna talk about Haas. Okay, no, I could talk about him too. Okay, but so did Ben have a little bit of a leg up when he was applying to different jobs? A tiny one, at Turner Classic Movies, well, it is classic movies. Did he have a slightly higher leg up? Yeah, probably. And you know who acknowledges that? Ben does. Okay. And instead of saying that either Ben shouldn't be hired, because he knows classic movies, he knows them really well. People love him. He does a great job at that, right? If he fell on his face and he didn't do a good job, he wouldn't have that job. He wouldn't have made it past the audition, let alone getting the job, right? But it's okay to acknowledge it and say, yeah, that probably helped a little bit, and I was grateful for the opportunity, which is exactly what Ben says. Mm -hmm. And then he made the best of the opportunity. And then we go, okay, yeah, we're not gonna ban you from Hollywood just because your dad's Johnny no, Depp. And by but the show way, a little bit of humility and know how hard it is for others that didn't have that opportunity. And by the way, I think people are smart enough to decide whether or not you're actually talented in what you're pursuing, you know, despite the leg up you get thanks to your family connections and all of that. So for instance, um, I'm not really familiar with Lily Rose's work. Um, so I can't really judge whether or not she's earned it or whatever. Um, but there are instances of nepotism that lead to like, I mean, she's a model, right? She's pretty hot, she looks pretty good, mm -hmm. earned it, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. But, um, and I haven't seen her acting, so I can't really judge on that. But then there's nepotism that I think we could all judge in regard to, like Meghan McCain on The View, where she made a lot of honestly ignorant arguments, wasn't really well informed, and it was abundantly clear that she made her way to Fox News, to The View, to all the different opportunities that she had because her father was a senator, a United States senator, right? That's how she became a big public figure. Did she earn the roles that she had in media? 
the public can decide on that, right? And I think the public has decided on that. Yeah. Um, but then there are other examples like, okay, so let me give you examples of people who are famous actresses, actors, um, who I didn't even realize uh, until today had uh, famous parents. And I think they're talented themselves and, and they've earned you know their place in Hollywood. So um, Jamie Lee Curtis, her parents are Janet Lee, who's an actress and Tony Curtis, an actor. So I'm sure that gave her a leg up in Hollywood. Keep it real, of course it did. Yeah, but she's talented, she's good at what she does. No, but Anna, you're bringing up something that I wanted to bring up because um, it turned, when I read through the list of the people who are, uh, got potential nepotism, opportunity because of it, etc. They're talking about the new generation, what are you guys talking about? The older generation had it a thousand times more. So Jamie Lee Curtis is one of dozens and dozens of examples here. I'm gonna read them off real quick. Laura Dern, these are all people who had very powerful people in the Hollywood that as either parents or really close relatives. Laura Dern, George Clooney, Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelica Houston, Liza Minnelli, Emilio Estevez, Charlie Sheen, Angelina Jolie, Nora Jones, Michael Douglas, Jane Fonda, Ben Stiller, Jamie Lee Curtis, Robert Downey Jr., Drew Barrymore, uh, Mia Farrow, Josh Brolin, uh, Jeff Bridges, Bo Bridges. You go on and on and on from the old, the old school guys. Almost all their parents were uh, movie stars already, right? Or famous directors, etc. And and by the way, that also makes sense because back then, getting into Hollywood it was even harder because you back then they didn't think nepotism was a bad thing. They were like, well, of course, who else would we hire? We're going to hire the son or daughter of the powerful person. Uh, so that we can get favors from the powerful person. It's a dynasty. <laughs> a dynasty. <laughs> These days, they have to work harder to get the, the opportunities. So it's less of a problem than it was today. But really, tell why? Them. Why do you say that? Why do you think they have to work harder? Like, what evidence do you have? No, about? I I look through the list. Mm -hmm. uh, the list is the only evidence I have. I'm not mm. an expert on this, but I look through the list of the younger people getting nepotism or whatever. So Will Smith's kids. Okay, sure. Okay, like no, definitely. What are you talking about? No, no, I'm saying like, like sure, that's a big one. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And by the way, are they talented? They might be very talented. I don't know. I, I can't judge that. But did they have a leg up because they're Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's kids? Of course, right? Um, but as you look through the list, there aren't a lot of superstars on the list. Whereas the older generation, all the superstars had almost all the superstars already had famous parents, etc. And that's, that's why I'm saying the juxtaposition there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so look, finally back to us, uh, sometimes people will say it about a couple of people here like Dave Kohler. What? Okay, he's one of the co-founders, how can it be never do But anyway, they're like, oh, Dave Kohler is a high, long uh, friend of yours. And yeah, it's true, I've known Dave since I was eight years old. Oh, I see. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's not family, but it's friendship. The dude worked here for years without a salary. No, guys. <laughs> you like, worked here for years without a salary, he, and then we'll talk about it. He literally <laughs> dropped everything to help Jenks start TYT from Jenks' living room. Yeah. Okay. But people still say it because they're looking for, oh, is it, is it? He took a massive risk. Uh, yeah, that's how <laughs> co founding works. Yeah. Anyways, and then Hassan, so my nephew, so he started here. And so did he uh, have an opportunity here that others didn't have? I gotta be honest with you guys, people weren't banging down our door to work for us and Haas also worked, started working here for free. So yeah. it wasn't like, oh, we're turning down all the other free talent, but we're gonna take this kid because he's got connections. I'm gonna take it a step further actually. I think Jank was so worried about the appearance of nepotism that I actually think that you went above and beyond to be Unfair and harsh toward him when he was so. Here. I don't agree with that, but I hear you. Okay, yeah. but Hassan would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, so what true. did Hassan do with that opportunity? Created first of all, he worked in sales in the beginning. Uh, sold more than any salesperson we had until it's that. true. Okay, yep. and maybe still to that. Uh, <laughs> and then and then when he went on air, he did breakdown on Facebook, killed it. He kind of created that category, built our Facebook presence, got. Yeah, hundreds of millions of views, literally. Yeah. Then when he went out on his own, he did Twitch and became one of the top stars on Twitch. Gee, I wonder if he earned it, okay? So don't hate on either side. So don't assume that because someone got an opportunity in the beginning that they're bad at it. Like is George Clooney a bad actor? Of course not, even though he had maybe a little bit of a step up or maybe a lot of step up back in the day, right? But he delivered on it. 
On the other hand, if you're Johnny Depp's daughter, don't come at us with sexism and all that nonsense. I okay. just think everyone's full. It, of Let's just keep it real. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's full. Of people who are crying about nepotism, they're full. Of people who claim they're not taking advantage of nepotism, they're full. Of Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.